on this cooling system. The radiator is quickly removable. After disconnecting the hoses, it is only necessary to release the two clips on the upper part. To reduce vehicle weight, the coolant volume has been kept to minimum. Most of the radiators are aluminium, and drainage is by a plug at the bottom left. System bleeding time has been reduced. There is no need for two-hour wait. Merely open the bleed screws on the engine and radiator. Roll the system and start the engine. The expansion bottle incorporated in the radiator makes bleeding possible with the thermostat closed. With the grill removed, there is access to either one or two electric fans according to model. But all have two speeds with a new low speed fan which is particularly quiet and easily removable. The electrical supply is via a relay, protected against wet, and a fuse located under the bonnet at the top left of the radiator. You should note that, depending on model, the grill and bumper blanking plates must be removed when towing a caravan. The various parts of the exhaust system are assembled by means of biconical collars. These make this assembly easy, even after a considerable time in use. Lastly, the air cleaner element can be replaced without tools, since it is necessary only to release the clip to remove it. The transmission. Two types of manual gearbox are used. A new MA box, compact and light, is fitted to the TU engine. The Borg Warner type synchros are coated with molybdenum and use a specially formulated oil making it unnecessary to ever drain or refill. Lubrication is for life. The gearbox has two plugs, one for checking level and one for drainage in case of repair. The gear change pattern is of the 505 type. The BE-1 gearbox is well known. It is now fitted with a level plug. Both gearboxes can be removed without affecting the power unit. The controls of both gearboxes are protected because they pass inside the car. Control is by a single rod, and there is no longer a reverse adjustment. The rod has an engine vibration damper. The suspension. The front suspension is Studio McPherson with a lower wishbone. It is very similar to that of the 305. The lower wishbone rear silent block is of a new type. It improves the longitudinal filtrage by a greater ability to absorb road noise caused by ridged surfaces. The front spring and damper assembly can be removed by fitting two restraining cables through the upper thrust cup and hooking them to the lower cup. A 
locating lug is welded to the upper cup against an identification of the caster angle for the vehicle. Reference 3 for injection engines. Reference 2 for others. Rear suspension is by trailing arms and torsion bars of the 205 type, with two differences. Firstly, the arms, which are of larger section and cast in steel, afford better directional control. Secondly, the anti-roll bar is external, thus avoiding the need for resealing the cross member if dismantled. The positioning of the rear dampers is identical to that of the 205. Their accessibility is remarkable, and they are easily replaced, being secured by only two bolts. The steering. On all 405 models, a lever under the steering column allows a 30mm height adjustment of the wheel. Power steering is either standard or an option, according to model. The brake. There are two different systems which are related to engine power output. Front disc and rear drums for engines with carburetors. Ventilated front disc and rear disc for injection engines. The discs are of the spigoted type and easily removable. The handbrake cables pass under the floor, making them easily accessible. The rear disc brakes incorporate the handbrake mechanism. To replace the rear pad, it is necessary to disconnect the handbrake cable. Remove the upper mountain bolt while holding the guide and swinging the caliper downwards. Push back the pistons fully, turning them with the special tool. The assembly is in reverse order. Press the brake pedal several times to bring the pistons into contact with the pad. Check and, if necessary, adjust the handbrake travel. The ventilated front discs have girling calipers. The non-ventilated discs have Bendix calipers with offset pads to prevent whistle and uneven wear. These pads must be fitted the right way round. The MI-16 is fitted with the first French anti-lock braking system. It has been designed with Bendix France. More sophisticated than competitive models, it regulates the pressure on all four wheels. The system comprises an electro-pump assembly located under the bonnet at the front right, a braking assembly which replaces the usual master cylinder and servo, An electronic control unit. A speed sensor at each wheel. And an indicator lamp on the instrument panel. It is fitted with an auto-diagnostic system, consisting of two microprocessors that identify any malfunction and signal the appropriate information. When a fault does appear, the electronics affect safety measures which avoid immobilizing the vehicle. The bodywork.
The bonnet safety catch is operated by a catch located to the right of the grill. To improve access for repairs, the bonnet has two open positions. One of them vertical, garage position, making it possible to use a hoist without removing the bonnet. A trolley jack being used to lift the front of the vehicle must be positioned under the front cross member. A stiffening plate has been fitted here to prevent distortion. The front panel is completely removable. Disconnect the harnesses. Separate the bonnet lock cable, which is in two parts. And remove the retaining bolt. The front panel includes the bumper, the direction indicator, the headlamps, the grill, the radiator and the fan. This operation gives easy access to the power unit. The headlamp glasses are replaceable. Six clips retain them to the light unit. The front indicator lamps are retained by springs accessible from within the engine compartment. At the rear, to give an indication of size, there are four tail lamps, but only two illuminate as spotlights. The main fuses and relays are mounted on a board under the left-hand side of the fascia handle. Radio equipment. On all models, the radio housing is covered by a folding flap for added security. There is a new connector which will accept six speakers. The front speaker grills are simply clipped into place. The rear, the speakers need to be mounted in the parcel tray. For the various components of the radio, heater, fascia and steering column can be removed separately. The door. These are one piece of the autoclave type, meaning the door frame overlaps the body. This design improves the aerodynamics and reduces wind noise. The door hinges have self-lubricating pins, allowing easy operation. They need only to be unscrewed for removal. The door locks are now replaceable without removing the trim pad. There are two access holes for tools to push back the retaining clip. This is the Peugeot patent. فراموش نکنید که توی کانال سابسکرایب کنید زنگوله رو به صدا در بیارید و کانال رو با دیگر دوستانتون به اشتراک بذارید تا ویدیوی بعدی روز روزگار خوش